Good afternoon. Today we're going to discuss about uh, executive branch. There are three branches of the government and one of them is executive branch. What is this? Uh, according to Article 7, Section 1 of the Philippine Constitution, declares that executive power shall be vested in the President of the Philippines. Unlike the legislative and judicial powers of the government, uh, which are vested in Congress and Supreme Court, respectively, both of which are collegial bodies, the whole executive power is vested to only one person, the President of the Philippines. All right. Now, this executive power or the executive power is the power to enforce and administer laws exercised by the President of the Philippines. He is the enforcer of that laws made by Congress. So, the one who executes the law is the executive department. The one who uh, makes the law, uh, they are the legislative and the one who uh, interprets the law is the judiciary. So we have three branches of the government. Now the president uh, plays very, very important roles no? in the polit political system as the number one chief of state siyang namamahala ng ating uh, estado, ng ating bansa. Siyang nangangalaga nito. He is the administrator and he's the, he's the chief. And secondly, is the chief executive. Uh, meron siyang different uh, departments, local and national government. Siyang pinaka-chief nito. He is also the chief diplomat. He is our representative to other countries, other nations. Then he's the one uh, signing of contract, treaty, etc. He's our chief diplomat. And at the same time, he is the commander in chief of the armed forces of the Philippines. Siya ang uh, civil uh, or civilian uh, representative, but he is the Chief. He's not a military personnel or he's not a military man, but pero siya ang pinakamataas. So, Chief of State, Chief Executive, Chief Diplomat, and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Alright, let's define the meaning of uh, executive. The executive power granted to the, to the President. Okay, it is the power to enforce and execute the laws faithfully. The president, uh, in the exercise of his powers and functions delegated by the law of the land, is not either subject to the control of neither the legislative branch nor judiciary. So, walang pakilam ang uh, bawat branches. No? Uh, sa executive, ang legislative, walang pakilam sa Sa executive, ang executive, walang pakilam sa legislative, nor sa judiciary. They have different um, identity and roles to play. Okay, now uh, let's go to the qualification of the president. How to become a president. In Article 7 and Section 2 of the 1987 Constitution, the following qualification of the president. First, he is natural born citizen of the Philippines. Actually, ito yung parang pinaka uh, critical. No? Kailangan Filipino citizen siya. So, like uh, the case of um, who is this? Fern Fernando Po Jr. Ang kaso sa kanya ay he is not uh, naturally born citizen of the Philippines. So, syempre, uh, tumakbo siyang as president, then kailangan niyang panindigan ito. Then secondly, he is also a registered voter, able to read and write at least 40 years. Take note of that. 40 years old at the day of the election. Pag tumungtong yung election day, dapat 40 years old siya. President of the Philippines for at least 10 years, immediately preceding the election. Okay, 10 years. 
Now, the term of office of the president, uh, the president is elected by the direct vote of the people. Okay, the term, we are talking about the term of office, six years. In our new constitution, 1987 constitution, it should be six years. Um, before it, uh, the term of the office of the president is only four years. Pero there is what we call re-election. But in this case, there is no re-election. After six years, then finish. Okay? Uh, it, it, is, uh, it shall begin at the noon on the 30th day of June, following the election day, and shall end at the same time and day. Six years thereafter, he is not eligible for any re-election. Okay? Now, uh, rules of succession to the office of the president. Let's say, nawala ang ating uh, Pangulo. Okay? Sino ang dapat pumalit? The Constitution uh, provides, okay? Not provinces. Provides for rules on who shall succeed as president. In the event of vacancy in the office, as in case of failure of the president-elect, to qualify or the president shall not have been chosen or uh, na, uh, removed from the office, okay? In case of that, rather, permanent disability, resignation, and removal from office through impeachment. Okay, ito yung mga reasons kung bakit kailangan i-proclaim or declare na ang office of the president is vacant. So, vacancy in the office of the president at the beginning of his term, okay, Be uh, vacancy in the office of the president during his term. So there is an ongoing, uh, uh, there is a process for this. Uh, then it, it is declared as vacant. So kinakailangan. So meron proseso yan. Now, in case of the health of the president, uh, let's say meron problema ang health ng ating pangulo. In case of the president, no, the public uh, shall be informed at the state of health of the president. Lagi yan. So the following members of the cabinet shall not deny access to, to the president during such illness. Okay? Yung una, cabinet member in charge of national security. Dapat nandun siya. Cabinet member in charge for foreign affairs. Okay? Bakit kasama ang foreign affairs? Kasi yung mga countries uh, outside in the Philippines, of course, uh, they are ask, they are asking where is your president? Kaling na kami makipag-ugnayan. So, kailangan they were also informed on this. Chief of the State of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, okay, for, the, for security reason. Okay, for the privileges of the president, uh, we... Uh, the president has an official residence which is the Malacanang and of course he, he will enjoy salary based on the um, constitution and of course the immunity hindi mo siya pwedeng isakdal o bigyan ng kaso habang siya ay presidente this is what we call immunity okay thank you for listening and i'll uh, continue my uh, presentation of the power of the president thank you